I posted a video. Um, and y'all have to forgive me or don't forgive me. I really don't care, right? Of uh, what is her name, Sister Shaharazada Ali? Shaharazad, the Ali lady. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Everybody run around like she just an OG <laughs> and she just everything. Somebody's like, I love this lady, B, or Shahrazad Ali. And let me tell you something. Now, somebody told me don't be disrespecting my elders. So I want to play for y'all quickly what I posted in my community section that she actually said. And then all of you dumbass men jumped in the comment section and had some stupid shit to say. So I want to address this because I think this is a very sad reality. OK, so let, let, let's let's play this video for y'all can hear it. So this is what she had to say some of those mm -hmm. and there ain't short enough clips that you'll be i hear you brother uh this is what you have to remember the average black woman in america don't get no older than about 14 so just talk to her and deal with her like you're dealing with a 14 year old don't come at her like you're dealing with an equal because she's not gonna be able to accept that you gotta go way back and uh we cut off at about 14 to 15 we don't develop and mature no further until we get some new information and accept some different information uh look at a lot of my lectures on youtube that's a people have put everything i got out there just about and she's talking like this don't listen to none of her motherfucking lectures how about that let me tell y'all something because people got offended at me in the goddamn chat talking about oh well you come for the elder let me tell y'all something right and somebody gonna say she telling the truth again the, here go you stupid ass men showing yourself right here you go showing yourself, right? <laughs> Let me tell you what I said. Y'all comments, I think, make the reality of our situation in our community even sadder. So, so I just want to, we got the dumbasses in the chat, um, you know, that is saying that she's telling the truth and she's not wrong. We, we, we know you pedophiles when we see them. So let me walk with me down the yellow brick road because we going somewhere, okay? Um, so we got other men in the chat and they talking about she spoke facts look at all the hit dogs holler including mx i like that y'all call me mx now because i never told y'all to call me that you know what i'm saying so you know at least at least i know that you guys fall in line <laughs> when a nigga put out marketing tactics it must be working mx is my network i actually did that because i was trying to kind of keep it separate from the beachy x right but all right i'll be mx i don't I, thank you very much right um and he says uh facts michi acts like a damn 14 year old on every live the irony of her calling out the elder somebody said it's not it's totally not untrue you know um it's all true the modern women um on some me 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 type of garbage i know black women personally that have been married over three times oh you mean like kevin samuels <laughs> y'all daddy Y'all daddy did. Y'all know that, right? And he not coming back. <laughs> Somebody said, I'm trying to figure out where's the lie, though. This sister was Kevin Samuels before he was Kevin Samuels, but y'all ain't listening either, right? Um, then here comes a dumbass dude. He ugly as fuck, so we know why you did this. It's always the ugly ones. Show y'all faces. I guarantee you ain't none of y'all motherfuckers fine talking like that. Because see, fine men, just like y'all want to talk about women that got certain shapes and bodies, fine men don't have that problem. They don't, they don't have a problem finding women. They don't, they don't resort to the dusty women in the projects. That's who y'all be picking. You pick them dusties. Okay? So this man says, me married to foreign for 20 years yeah and you so dumb nigga now you talking like you a foreigner you forgot to speak english me married nigga it's i'm married i'm but i'm the 14 year old meet you act like a 14 year old every time she all alive nigga learn how to talk right okay so me married to foreign wife for 20 years i'm very happy the black woman i'm not dealing with is a culture imbalance for me how dumb do you guys sound a culture imbalance the very women that are a part of who you are and that is your culture and it's an imbalance so if you are out of balance with the very woman that is you and comes from you created by you it's part of who you are and your people something's wrong with you let me just play one more thing for you guys from y'all lovely daddy, Kevin Samuels. Let me, I want to play something for him since y'all think, you know, she was the Kevin Samuels before his time. Let's, let's play something about Kevin Samuels. Where is this video? 
Let me play something in the memory of that retarded ass man. Now, sometimes I was like, Kevin Samuels, he said good stuff. He said good stuff, Meech. But you always overlook when he say dumb shit. So let's play something by Kevin Samuels now. What you look like, you know, that's a dude. If you see a woman back a car into a parking space, go the other way. That's a dude. That's a dude. If she backs her car into a parking space, I don't care what she look like getting out. That's a dude. If so that's the man that y'all want us to listen to that's supposed to be so smart. So y'all taking his advice. So y'all do know that between those two comments, I'm going somewhere. Do you not see the connection? So all you niggas is agreeing that black women are 14 year old kids and Kevin Samuels, all you motherfuckers who follow him. So now if a woman is a good driver, we're a man with any of his children that are still that, you know, left living, how they say it when, when you be in the obituary, I always say it. <laughs> you, you, you have a, you know, you live preceded him, whatever. What is the word for all of his children he left behind? Do you want to explain that? So now we can't drive. Somebody said it's clearly a joke. No, nah, fuck you. It's not a joke. That man was serious as hell. That was one small clip that I clipped from the conversation. It wasn't a fucking joke. He was serious as hell. Y'all sound stupid. It was a joke. No, motherfucker, it wasn't a joke. And you watch that dusty nigga say that shit for forever. Now y'all want to sit here and act like he didn't let dumb ass shit like that come out his mouth and be dead fucking serious. So this is the thing to me. All you niggas who have this to say, what is wrong with you? Y'all niggas like kids, don't y'all? Like, yeah, we're going to go there. Y'all like kids. You, 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 you equate black women, even though you're still dating them, to 14-year-old children. So why the fuck are you interested in a 14-year-old child? Why do you want to equate women that are grown with a child? You don't want me to know how to back in my motherfucking car because if I can back in, it's a dude that's getting out that car no matter what I look like. Not, I can't even be a good driver or now I'm a dude. You niggas don't want women. You want children in your life. You want somebody that you can tell them what to do. They don't have any fucking guidance. They don't have a mind of their own. They don't know how to think. They, you just want them to do whatever the fuck you tell them to do. And they have no sense of mind of their own. You don't want women to be able to think for themselves. You niggas in the manosphere, y'all like something's wrong with y'all. Let me say, and let me say this last thing to you. I don't know what grown ass men, this shows how, how sorry and insecure you niggas is. You don't even know how to be a man. You don't even know how to feel secure about being a man or in your manhood unless you have somebody to exhort your manhood over. So since you don't know how to be powerful in your day-to-day -day life, you stupid, dusty motherfuckers, you niggas walk around all day trying to find women that are so stupid, they will bow down to you so that they don't have have a mind of their own. Somebody said I'm a 14 year old kid because I cuss on all of my videos. What kind of children do you be around? Do y'all listen to shit come out your mouth? Because when I was 14, I wasn't running around cussing like I cuss now. See, I thought I had to wait until I got grown to be able to cuss. So what kind of 14 year olds is you raising? And what kind of 14 year olds are you around that my cussing is equated to being a 14 year old? And better yet, let me give you another motherfucking thing to look at an analogy. If we're 14 year old, the average black woman, if the average black woman is 14 years old, right? And if Michi's 14 years old in y'all mind, then my question would be, with a 14 year old mind, I homeschool my children, right? I have two bachelor's degrees. I run several businesses. I make multiple six figures, 
right? I organize for my community. I have changed the trajectory of people's lives financially and pick people up from where they low and then help them through all of their stuff. I take care of a household. I was married for 15 years and did a, a wonderful job at it. Y'all gonna say, well, why you still ain't married? Because, um, you know, sometimes it's okay to leave a marriage after you don't put all you don't put in and the shit is just not benefiting the whole family period. Right. But if I did all of that and I'm 14 in here, what the fuck is y'all niggas excuses who ain't done one fifth of what the fuck I've done in my life and a lot of black women? Huh? So if we're 14 and we've done all of that, what is your excuse when most of you niggas talking ain't done none of that? And you still live with your mother. Half you niggas in the chat talking, live with your mama and you're 30, bitch. So if I'm 14, what are you? Five? Like the video. Share this video. Subscribe if you have not. Hit that notification bell, right? And we're going to get into this conversation. I just want y'all to let that sink the fuck in. Y'all just be saying the dumbest stuff. I'm so glad the black men that I, I hang around, right? I don't hang around you niggas in my chat. <laughs> black men I hang around, I'm so glad that they're men and they're in, they're secure in who the fuck they are because they're not out here trying to compete with me and they don't need to be little me and and the and the and the, and the non insecurities that I don't have and I walk around with the woman I am, they appreciate me for who I am and it doesn't make them feel secure insecure at all because they are secure in the men that they are. Um, y'all niggas is some bums. And if y'all keep choosing bum ass girls, like Kevin Samuel said, bums deserve bums. Y'all be equal. If you're, if you keep running into bums, it's cause you're a bum, bro. You're a bum. That's why you got a dusty chick. Cause you're a dusty nigga. You live in the projects. So all the chicks you fuck with is in the projects. Y'all deserve each other. You're a bum. If all you keep running into is bum bitches, use a bum nigga. Just, just know that that's that's just what it is. Cause I'm not a bum, I'm not a bum bitch, and I don't run into bum niggas <laughs> because that's not who I hang out with. I keep telling y'all niggas, the answer is you. Go look in the mirror. <laughs> Everything in your life come back to you. So if you can't find no good black women, maybe you're not a good black man. <laughs> maybe you should just. Go put on a pink coat like the nigga on the on the thumbnail and just call it a day because maybe you niggas don't even want to be me. But anyway, you know, they have the option for you now. You don't have to be a man if you don't want to. You can be one of us 14-year-old black women if you want to. You can be a black woman too. And then you can get your life together like a lot of us have. <laughs> and I say that too. Ain't nobody got to respect no elders. I don't give a fuck how old you are. If you dumb, you dumb. You say some dumb ass shit and I'm going to tell you you dumb. I don't give a fuck how old you is. So you get over a certain age in life and we all equal. I done been through enough. If you 65, you going to talk to me like we equal, god damn it, because 65 year olds a day ain't teaching, ain't teaching me no wisdom. That wasn't no wisdom right there. That was some old, she is the OG pick me bitch. That's who she is. And go tell somebody I said it, because now y'all finna, I can't believe she talked about the elder like that. She's the OG pick me. Right? She She's the OG pick me. That's who she is. So all of you pick me chicks, that go your mama. <laughs> y'all go follow her. Shahabra Zadara the Ali, whatever the fuck her name is. Y'all go follow your mama. <laughs> Right along with these niggas from Kevin Sam. That's Kevin Sam. Kevin Sam is y'all daddy and, and that chick, y'all mama. Well, your mama's still alive, ain't she? She's still alive, right? Your mama alive. Y'all better go talk to her because y'all daddy gone. He ain't coming today. <laughs> Meet you, that's me. You can't talk about people that's dead. Well, shit. They dead. Ain't nothing you can do about it. <laughs> when I die, y'all better laugh and y'all better remember me. And somebody said, damn, the disrespect. African community, you can leave. The disrespect against who? 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 Give them a mini. Who am I disrespecting? Who is the disrespect against? Kevin Samuels or the elder? Just tell me, just give me a name. You ain't even got to explain yourself. Who am I? Who am I disrespecting? I feel disrespected by the shit that she done said. And I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't get upset about people talking about people. Also, oh, it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, I'm being disrespectful to her. Why? Because you respect her, what she said. Why do I owe her respect? 
See, ain't that what's wrong with the black community? Why do I owe this motherfucker respect? I have daughters. Fuck you and her. I don't appreciate a woman of that age that's supposed to have some wisdom instead of coming along and talking to people how relationships can stay together and how they can be built. I don't like her attitude of talking down on women. So I don't take her advice as an elder. I don't have to fucking respect her because the shit that she just said is disrespectful to me and my daughters and all of the so-called average black women that we all know. We feel disrespected too. Just because you old don't mean you get to say whatever the fuck you want about everybody. I feel disrespected. How about that? Y'all kill me with that. We got to respect somebody just because they old. That's why we can't never get nowhere. Y'all don't ever look at people's morality and what they say and where they get us to go. You just looking at how they tearing us apart. She a black woman and she supposed to be an elder and she's on here dogging black women as though we, when we turn 14, we stay there until we get new information. So do we turn 14 and not learn anything after that? We just stay stuck. We ain't learn another motherfucking thing after 14 years old. Really? That was some dumb shit. And we're not going to fucking co-sign what she said. And then she's going to say, you know, girls stop developing at 14. Who told her dumb ass that lie? Do we have any, any nurses in the house? Do we have any nurses in the house? Can you please inform them that no matter how old this woman is, we're not going to let her shove them fucking lies down our throat? Do women stop growing? Do, do we stop maturing at 14? Who told you that lie? That is not right. Physiologically, that's not right. Mentally, that's not true. Those are lies. So that is her opinion. And as an elder, you gonna go take your little faulty ass opinion that you came up on your motherfucking own with no proof, no scientific motherfucking evidence that this is true. But you're going to pick a notion that tears down black women and girls and make us feel like we're stupid and all the men are so great. They need to deal with us like we 14. I wish the fuck my man would be trying to talk to me. Seem like to me she promoting domestic violence. So if I'm 14 and you should treat me like I'm 14, does that mean if I don't listen to you, you should talk to me like I'm your child? Maybe you should punish me and whoop my ass. So how far does that dumbass comment she made go? Somebody said you tearing down a black woman right now. Well, according to her, I don't have to respect her as an elder because she stopped growing at 14, right? By her own mouth, she's stuck in 14 too. So you want me to respect her like she an elder, but she 14. Remember? She's 14. We can't give her any credit for growing. And for becoming more mature, because apparently she thinks she's the only one that does that and nobody else does. Y'all sound crazy. Somebody said she does promote domestic violence. Well, there you have it. I don't know. I don't listen to her. So you go respect her because she ain't my elder. I don't listen to that shit <laughs> she be talking about. <laughs> what you say? Who checked her? I don't know. Well, anyway, homeboy feelings is hurt. Go watch uh, Shaharazada Ali. Just Google her name in um, YouTube. Put it in there. A bunch of videos. You go watch her instead of me. Okay, how about you do that? <laughs> go watch her instead of me. Because I'm 44. So go watch her because she's 14. You don't want to watch me. I'm 44 as of March the 3rd. All right. On Friday, I will be 44. So you don't want to listen to me because I'm not 14. Okay. <laughs>